podcast and YouTube blog covering the German startup scene with news, interviews, and live events. Hello and welcome, everybody. This is Joe from Celebrate.io, your startup podcast and YouTube blog from Germany. I'm right now here at the very fancy innovation center of Merck in Darmstadt. And I'm here for the simple reason I finally got Munja to do another interview with me. Hey, welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me on. Completely my pleasure. Um, people may remember that you've been here on the interview before. That's right. Um, I think you, we hosted you for two, uh, about two years ago. In the More old innovation two year, <laughs> almost two years yeah. ago. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we've been here to talk about the accelerator program of Merck. That's correct. Uh, so um, my name is Munya. I'm running the accelerator program here at Merck. Uh, our accelerator program is really a platform uh, to allow entrepreneurs and, uh, and startup companies to connect and collaborate uh, with the organization. And um, we here for reasons. So basically. You not did this once, twice or so, but you actually have a very good track record on this. Yeah, I would say so. I mean, happy to hear someone else say it. <laughs> uh, but uh, we've been we've been running for 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 the last uh, for, since 2015. Uh, our batches have have gone on from um, from the first batch with three pe three startups uh, to the most recent batch that completed uh, the program in April. Uh, had about ten had ten teams. Um, the teams that were going through the program in 2019 were really focused on, on generating uh, collaboration opportunities with Merck, uh, setting up projects. Uh, whereas if you look at our earlier batches, uh, the teams really connected with Merck, but more on a support and mentorship uh, approach. Um, and the, 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 the table has flipped a bit more. Um, the focus is now a bit more on, on the collaborations, the opportunities that they are to actually connect with the, with the company itself and actually generate a strategic partnership. So long, more long-term relationships than they go beyond the accelerator period. And not surprising for our audience, we're going to, uh, um, advertise that you guys are actually taking in applications for the next batch. Yeah. Surprise like timing. The, yeah. Surprise. <laughs> tada. It's like, um, for a long-term partnership, as you said, mm -hmm. but what you guys are actually looking for in terms of those startups? Uh, yeah, of course. So we are, as many of you might know, Merck, uh, we are a company that's, that's really focused on performance materials, healthcare and life sciences. We also have um, uh, sort of so-called innovation fields where we concentrate more, most of our efforts on uh, to sort of build next generation business for Merck. Uh, these innovation fields are in clean meat, uh, biosensing and interfaces, uh, as well as uh, liquid biopsy. So how you could enable, um, how could you, you can enable minimally invasive or non-invasive diagnostics um, in, in, some, in, in some therapeutic area, in, in some diseases that, we, we, that are quite invasive at the moment. Uh, we're looking for startups that are at a collaboration ready stage. Um, that are really looking to work with Merck over the next um, over the next few years uh, to build new projects, new uh, businesses, and even uh, support us in in, in 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 sort of running our own processes as well and connecting to the products that we have in the market as well as in preparation in the, in the pipeline. And you talked about very extensively what you're looking for, but why should the startup apply? Oh, sure. Um, so this is this is one of those one of those great great opportunities that that at least we see as a company that we're opening up a bit more what we what we do in our innovation ecosystem as well as in our businesses as well. So there are challenges that we're we're facing. Um, there are opportunities to to collaborate together. Um, and one of the main things that I see a startup could benefit from is this business alliance with Merck. Um, you could in Merck find uh, everything from a supplier, a customer. Uh, to a project development partner. Uh, that's one of the unique things about having uh, a company like ours. So within our life science research, many of your life science companies might actually find a commercialization and, and distribution partner, but at the same time, uh, walk over to our healthcare team and find the kind of pilot customers in the research labs or in the clinical development space uh, that could really sort of validate and prove uh, some of the some of the, the tools that you're developing and the products you're developing. Um, uh, but most of all, we're also providing a bit of financing. So uh, we support you in developing the proof of concepts and pilots. Uh, we also connect you to the greater Merck ecosystem. So it's not just about uh, connecting here in Darmstadt, but we have um, we have opportunities for you to 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 gain access to markets in China, for instance. Uh, one of the one of the new things that happened since we last spoke is that we've we've opened up an accelerator program in in Shanghai as well. So some of the teams that get uh, get access to the program here 
have the access to actually to actually approach the market in China. Uh, you also get to work in this amazing building. So you have co-working not only in not only not only in the form of having a, a place to sit, but you also have a maker space right behind us uh, where you can do some prototyping. You can actually use some of the equipment that we have. Um, you also have uh, the advantage of working side to side to some with some of the innovation projects that are that are seen as lighthouse projects here in, here in the company as well. So you're you have a unique space in which you interact with uh, with Merck experts, uh, Merck decision makers, um, as well as have access to, to the infrastructure that we offer. Um, yeah, so I think there are plenty of opportunities and the idea is that maybe you you, 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 you get a view of what we're looking for, what we're working on uh, through, our, through our website, um, understand a bit more what Merck is doing and uh, you will probably see something in it for you. And how would something a real life example look like? Do you have any successful examples from the past? Uh, sure. So maybe I could kick off with uh, with um, a company like Ektika. So Ektika uh, were in our cohort in 2017. Um, teams from Switzerland. They were in. Uh, they're, they're based in Zurich. It's been out of ETH. Uh, they actually developed a very, very, very interesting uh, 3D uh, 3D cell culture uh, assay methodology that um, that they actually have managed to pilot within. Uh, within one of our healthcare teams, uh, not only are they piloting uh, the the use of the pro project, they got their one of their first customers in a certain disease space uh, who have actually been publishing papers um, that show that show validation points for for the use of this type of three D cell culture. Uh, but they are also looking at um, Merck Life Science as a distribution partner. So one side they're supplying us. Uh, we are a key customer and key development partner. But on the other side, um, uh, as as they scale up. Uh, they see Merck as a as a pretty clear distribution partner uh, for mm. for their products themselves because we have we have the reach within the within the life science community and the market they're trying to access as well. Mm -hmm. So that could be a very good opportunity to to and, build up. And everybody out there who's now thinking about applying for the Merck Accelerator program, do you have maybe the single best tip or a few good tips for a successful application? Okay. First, refer to this interview here. <laughs> <laughs> that is very true. Um, uh, same when you sent you, and uh, <laughs> you get on top. Um, actually, in all seriousness, um, I think one of the one of the things that we've tried to, to to make clear is uh, a bit more information on the innovation fields that we're working on. So, if you want to go on a long term uh, on a long term approach with Merck, um, try to understand some of the innovation fields we're working on. Try to understand some of the therapeutic areas we're working on in in, in biopharma, uh, as well as some of the product areas that we work in in in, in performance materials. See how you can enhance these. See how you can make use of these in your day to day business. Just elaborate some of the some some of the opportunities that you see uh, for a collaboration together with Merck, and you're you're most likely to have a very good application. Great. Thank you very much. It okay. was just a pleasure having you and hope to come back soon. Yeah, we'll be happy to have you again. <laughs> Thank Great. you. Thank you. That's all, folks. Find more news, streams, events, and interviews at www.startuprad.io. Remember, sharing is caring.